Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at the new model released by OpenAI named GPT-40 Mini. The Mini model uh, by OpenAI and earlier they released GPT-4 Omni you know, in their uh, spring updates and now we have the Mini variant of the same GPT-4 Omni model. 128K context window, that is fantastic by OpenAI faster cheaper better than gpt 3.5 turbo that's what they have been saying performed really well on multiple evaluation benchmarks for example mmlu and others we're going to explore this model and try a few of the use cases and see uh how is this model performing let's jump in guys now here if you look at on my screen I have bunch of uh you know sentences where you know i just copied it from their report just wanted to cover it quickly I'm not going to write a lot of code because I'm going to explain this code is very same. It's available in the documentation. 82% in MMLU. So if you are not aware what MMLU is, it's a massive multitask language understanding, a data set to evaluate large language models. You know, it's a massive data set. You know, it covers 57 subjects across STEM. You know the science the humanity the social sciences mathematics and whatnot a lot of different you know topics that it covers and uh, most of the evaluation benchmarks that we currently see uh, mmlu is the most prominent one we also have hella swag we know granite and whatnot but this is something that all the LLMs go through so it has 82 percent in mmlu currently outranking gpt4 itself by OpenAI in the LM6 leaderboard chat. Now, if you don't know what is that, you just have to come here and there are this Gradio application that you see. It will come in and it will show you, you know, uh, leaderboard is here. You can try it out. You can see in GPT-4 Omni, this model that you currently see is proprietary OpenAI and in the top one, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is the second. This is what it says. Priced at 15 cents per million input tokens, guys, which is also good, you know, which is cheaper and 60 cents per million output token. That is fantastic. Uh, previous, it's cheaper than previous model and 60% cheaper than Turbo itself, which is which is great. Right now, it supports text and vision. Video and in audio inputs are coming up in the future. Uh, 128k tokens, as I just said earlier supports up to 60k output tokens but this is fantastic now imagine 60k output tokens one tokens mean four characters that the industry recommendation now you can get better outputs lengthier outputs if you are working with ai agents and if you have if your multiple agents are combining with each other then uh, earlier if you are using gpt 4 or these models there was issue with the uh, context window tokens gets exceeded and whatnot that's also a great thing here safety is built this is further fine-tuned using rlhf so they say that in the pre-training steps anywhere they will have deduplications, sanitizations, redactions and whatnot. A very standard uh, you know, procedure to train pre-trained model or foundational model. Then they further go downstream through RLHA for other alignments, uh, you know, fine-tuning techniques. So not rocket science, but they have focused on head speech, adult contents and whatnot. Uh, jailbreaking and everything they have been uh, tested out and it performs uh, and it has performed well on those scenarios what do you need to try it out you need an open ai api keys you can also work with azure open ai if you want now i already have here you can see it but you know i just have my api keys in the secrets in the left hand side you have a secrets on collab where i have all of my keys so let me just run this i mean it's already ran so i'm not gonna run it so when you, you first thing you have to do is have to upgrade your open ai have this version guys works based 1.35.15 now as i have my secrets here and um, you know i have to uh, set that in env or you can basically get through userator.get and then i have from open ai open ai and this is the model name gpt4 o mini so that's what i have here now let me just do this I have a client.chat.completions.create. I'm using this from OpenAI. You can see it over here. And then I have a system and user. In system, the content, I'm giving some in, uh, system prompt. 
you are a helpful assistant help me with my questions and there are some output uh, when I ask this question write five dictionary words each word starts with letter E and ends with N look at the output it didn't get it right so that's the problem guys you know if I ask this question to a five class student just the same question the student will be able to understand it will it will give you if if he or she knows the answer if you look at the last answer here let me just make this a bit bigger so you can read it now last one says enclosed so it starts with e but it's not ending with n so it ends with d and this is how my question is probably i'm not asking in the right way but if you ask this question to a five class student they will be able to get it they can perceive this easily and they can understand what are you trying to ask right and they will answer it okay now I just changed and this is coming from our community guys so we have a community as well on discord and whatsapp and we were testing it out and one of our guy you know who suggested to try this give me five dictionary words we just put this in quotation and when you put this in quotation it got it right so you can see it says this and that's why I put it here because I just wanted to keep this in my mind to explain this because if you read the paper attention is all you need it all it has said that you know if, if you want to uh you should put this in a quotes if you want to get that in your output probably it's a very good idea you know if to do a research on these kind of things if you're a beginner you can compute the attention scores for each token pair or whatever and try to find out which pairs are having higher attention scores but if you look at this very small difference in these two prompts five dictionary words give me five dictionary words start with letter e and ends with so i remove the word and and it starts with letter uh with e and ends with n but here we have put it remove the word each and then just put this in quotes and then we got your output which is right so you can see all of the five dictionary words start with e and ends with n in the top one it was not ending it was ending with t the next thing is it has vision capability so i took for vision you have to convert this in base 64 if you are using it locally you can also pass it as an url if you want to do that now here i am using some utils file here just to visualize this you can see we are using display i don't know why i got audio you can remove this but yeah base 64 i have a yahoo finance image for nvidia you can see and i wanted it wanted it to explain and it has you then what you have to do you have to take the image path and then get the encodings of that image in base 64 and then then you have to pass that base 64 here you can look at this and then I'm just asking a question explain this image and then it explains this image let's try it out something else guys so what I have a couple of other files just I wanted to try it out here so let me just pass this radiology report so I have a radiology report here and you can see this report it's I just got it from internet it has some x-ray chest PA view impression says that ever feature are suggestive of bronchitis likely allergic and infective it has an image so let's try it out and let's see if this works probably I don't know if this is in the right format but yeah I'm gonna try this out so it's in JPG and then let's display the image it says no file what I am okay it's only radio log excuse me not logic and now we are able to visualize the same image I'll just cut this out and now if you look at this is the image that we have and you can scroll it down this is a showing one of the huge cases guys how you can summarize radiology reports using LLMs uh, but you, again you need you have to validate with you know the clinicians and stuff before you take it in the clinical settings you need human intervention in at any cost because these are all regulatory industry you should not immediately start you know deploying this in production you know uh, but let me just do this here base 64 and i'm gonna say summarize summarize the report and come up with all the findings that will help the clinicians that will help a clinician
I have temperature as 0 0.1. I don't want it to be more creative, but if you want to play around with this, you can do that. You can see summary of X ray report. Let me just do, uh, let me open Dillinger here. Okay, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this thingy. I'm just going to copy this, come here and paste. Now, if you look at here, it says summary of X ray report, patient information. X-ray findings, X-ray findings are here, impressions, advice, key findings for clinicians, blah, 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 and it gives you something here, okay. You can take a bit more comprehensive guys here, report this is a very single page, you can take multiple pages and pass it in a for loop. As 128K context windows, you can pass it at least few, few images in one go, but if it's like have a lot of historical records from EHR and EMRs, you can also do that, but yeah, the radiology reporting, you know, looks good here. Uh, you can validate with a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but you know I don't recommend to use it, you know, in like immediately in clinical settings. But you can try it out. Now, I have a computer motherboard. So this is one use case. So we started with a stock screening use case just to understand charts and all. Now in this use case, we tried out with radiology reporting summarization. The next use case, look at. Let's see how it can help in. Uh, you know hardware industry where you have some parts uh, where there are some fault parts and stuff if it if it can find it out or not So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one more image that I have let me let me just of course we can visualize it here So I'm gonna bring up your comp motherboard and then JPG and Then let's display so I have an image Let me explain what's wrong in that image. So you can see these are these, these are all leaking so if you look at this, these are all leaking here and these are the nice ones. So it should at least find it out. Let me see if it can explain. So I'm just going to create an encode image, try it out. And then I'm just going to make some changes here. You are a helpful assistant that's responding. My help me with my math. Oh, it has math homework. I don't know. Why. I was trying with some math examples. Help me with. Help me. Help me with. Help me to answer the question. And then here, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say summarize. So I'm gonna say, can you, can you, uh, can you find out what's wrong in the motherboard? List down. All recommendations and next steps 16k token size and output guys so you can have these kind of detailed and lengthy outputs you know in markdown if you want okay so let's try it out and see so different use cases guys you can also do build a lot of use cases applications on top of it if you want but don't only build wrappers if you are trying to pursue a startup it's it should be beyond that otherwise why should people use this why not chat gpt or just use their self by using an automation framework like DeFi and gum loops i have a lot of videos over there you can look at here it says yeah you can see in the leakage capacity i said right was leaking it got it right so i'm gonna export this as a pdf i want to use this for later purposes uh yeah that's fine Set to yeah, this is not required. Okay. Now here I'm going to take this next one here. Based on the image provided, I'm going to have this here and put it here. Where is the Dillinger thingy? Now it says based on the uh, image description, it appears that the motherboard has several capacitors that are leaking or showing sign of corrosion. This is a common issue that can lead to various problems with motherboard's functionality. Leaking capacitor corrosion potential damage. It recommends power down and disconnect visual inspections. Capacitor replacement so you can now replace the capacitor. Clean the area, check for additional damage. Of course, very generic responses. Last three. And then next step assess your skills. Gather tools and material. If you're proceeding with DIY repairs, gather the necessary tools, soldering iron, multimeter, etc., and replacement parts. Document the process if you choose to. Fantastic. I mean, I loved it. In the next step, we can also get it. Uh, how we can remove the capacitor it will it can recommend some video, but yeah, it's fine. You know, you can you can use this Let me save this to export this as PDF 
all right guys now this is what I wanted to do wanted to try it out LLMs has flaws guys you know LLM has flaws if you look at the I always ask this kind of question to test it out and it always it it never works you know I have tried hundreds of LLMs I ask when you tweak a bit it works but as a human I can understand that's why you know when Jan Lekun says that Parrot is more intelligent than LLM sometimes you know I believe him so let me know your thoughts findings on GPT-4 Omni I Mini or what are you building with this model if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box uh, I will give this code on my GitHub repository you can find the link in description please join our discord server and community where we are building a community growing community of 600 people on discord 500 on whatsapp I'll give the links in description uh, join those communities group as well guys uh, if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos thank you so much for watching see you in the next one